Welcome back to The Source. The race for the COVID-19 vaccine is on. The Food and Drug Administration is hopeful COVID-19 vaccines may be available in the Philippines by March of next year. FDA Director General Eric Domingo says once a vaccine manufacturer applies for emergency use authorization, they will complete the review on the drug safety and efficacy within 21 to 28 days if the applicants present all the necessary documents. Let's go straight to the source of the story. We have Science and Technology Secretary Fortunato De La Peña. Secretary, welcome to The Source and maraming salamat po sa inyong oras. Morning, uh, Pinky, and uh, uh, good morning to all our uh, viewers. Maganda po yung sinabi ni FDA Director General Eric Domingo kahapon sa press conference ng Malacanang. Sabi niya, a vaccine uh, um, daw uh, could be available by March. I want to ask you first, Secretary, do you think personally that this is doable? Well, uh, there are uh, vaccines actually that uh, uh, may, not, may not have to go through clinical trials. And uh, if uh, the FDA in the country involved and the FDA in the Philippines uh, will uh, agree, then they can be introduced uh, uh, even without doing the clinical trials here for as long as the data in their clinical trials abroad will be uh, evaluated and uh, found to be uh, uh, acceptable. Here I in see. The Philippines. So that, so that's clear, Secretary. Hindi mandatory na bago po magamitin natin ang vaccine dito. It's not mandatory na magkaroon ng clinical trial dito sa Pilipinas. Hindi, hindi, hindi siya mandatory. But uh, it helps kasi if the uh, trials are done here. Kasi we are uh, Im we immediately have our data to base the decisions of the FDA. Okay, better but not necessary. So let's that talk about the process, Secretary, be because um, there's so much talk about what kind of process this will actually go through. Let us um, let me give an example. One is, of course, Pfizer, which got the emergency use authority in the UK. Ano mo ba yung, if, because sila pa lang yung una that I believe na nakakuha ng emergency use authority sa UK, Papaano ho yung proseso, if it's Pfizer, sakaling pumunta po o makagamitin po natin dito sa bansa? I think uh, it will follow the same uh, uh, process as I have stated. Uh, uh, they will go through our FDA, okay? And FDA, depending on uh, whether they will uh, still pass it on to our vaccine expert panel, uh, then that is the, the, the time that we will be involved, okay? Or uh, if FDA will be satisfied with the uh, uh, information or data that they submit, they can make the decision outright. It's really up to the FDA, but kailangan yes. kasi yung mga pharmaceutical companies that have the vaccine, they have to apply, ano, Secretary, for this emergency use authority dito po sa Pilipinas. Tama ho ba yun? Oh, kung, uh, kung, uh, kung hindi pa siya approved for, uh, for uh, use in the regular sense, okay, eh, kailangan ng emergency use authority. And I, I think that's the reason why uh, we, we actually uh, joined the DOH in recommending to the president uh, the, uh, the uh, grant of authority for FDA to, uh, to have that authority to approve emergency use. Okay? So uh, we welcome right. the, this development. So uh, let's talk about the vaccines that may be available here in the country. What are these vaccines that you are thinking na makapa makapasok po or makakuha tayo ng, um, ng, ng, ng vaccines para po sa mga Pilipino? What would be the top four? Well, I can only talk... Uh, because, because the negotiations uh, for those that are directly negotiating with the, with the vaccines are, uh, we, we are only informed, you know, and actually mamaya pa kami magkakaroon ng uh, meeting. But uh, uh, as far as uh, the clinical trials that uh, or the application for clinical trials, you know, yun ang aming masasagot. So for example, uh, maagang nag-apply for clinical trials ang Sinovac of China, maaga din nag-apply for clinical trials ang uh, Gemalaya ng uh, Russia. And then uh, we had uh, additional uh, uh, applications. No una, uh, uh, itong AstraZeneca was, uh, did not uh, intend to have clinical trials, but they, they now submitted uh, themselves for clinical trials. And uh, I think uh, uh, there is uh, 
uh, uh, Janssen Bayon from the US also. Uh, but there were additions like the Clover from China. And uh, I uh, think, na, I, I'm not sure if Pfizer will, will uh, hindi pa rin yata maki-clinical trials ang Pfizer kung hindi diretso ng application sa FDA. But, so uh, pinakamagandang pinaka tanong na... yan actually, eh, si, si Vaccine SAR. Oh. Uh, yes, see si Secretary oh. Galvez. Yeah, but I, I just wanted to find out from you if you can answer. Um, nag-umpisa na ba? Meron na hubang clinical trial na nag-umpisa dito sa bansa? Wala pa. Wala pa rin. Okay. So, um, th that being said, hopefully that should happen soon because um, we need, um, there's been talk already kung sino ang kukunin for clinical trials, hindi ho ba, Secretary, in a particular area na mataas po ang cases? We are, we are hoping and uh, there are uh, already uh, uh, vaccines, uh, for example, yung uh, Sinovac, uh, tapos na yung uh, uh, evaluation on ng aming uh, vaccine expert panel uh, and uh, uh, there are others na nakasubmit na ng mga data uh, completely. So mm -hmm. we hope that uh, uh, by December, meron na pasimula. But we are not spending for that. Yeah, so hopefully by December, clinical trials will begin. Um, there's, of course, another hopefully, revelation. Hopefully, but, 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 but they, they are the ones who uh, hire the uh, uh, contra contracted uh, uh, research organization who will implement the clinical trial. Uh, unlike uh, our preparations for the WHO solidarity trials, kami yung nag-select kung sino yung mag implement ng clinical trials and we have funds for that. But for the private companies who are uh, doing it on their own, of course with clearance from FDA, uh, yaan ay sila ang nag-hire ng uh, contract research organization to implement. Uh, ang tulong lang namin sa kanila is to identify the the uh, zones and the possible uh, communities where they can find volunteers. There's a, also a new revelation yesterday. This has been studied by the DOST, the use of virgin coconut oil. How effective is this? We're gonna talk about, uh, we're gonna talk about this after the break. The source will be right back. You're watching The Source on CNN Philippines. Our guest today, Science and Technology Secretary Fortunato de la Peña. Secretary, good news yesterday regarding VCO. Meron pong um, tinray na ilang mga individuals ano po, sinubukan ito with their food in Laguna. Can you tell us more about this, please, sir? Yeah, actually, uh, there were uh, three projects that we have supported uh, involving VCO. Uh, uh, one was the so-called in vitro trials uh, that was done in Singapore. Uh, dahil wala tayong facilities at saka wala tayong collection of SARS-CoV-2. Ito yung in vitro, there are no uh, persons involved. So pinag-react sila sa isang reactor. And uh, the uh, findings were, uh, number one, uh, uh, they, had, they, they, they had an antifungal, an antiviral uh, effect. No? So kaya nilang... Uh, uh, sirain yung virus, no? but uh, uh, the trials that were done were actually on uh, low low uh, concentration of uh, uh, of uh, virus, you know? and uh, uh, the second uh, uh, experiment that project that we supported is the one here in uh, the Santa Rosa Community Hospital. Uh, of course, uh, we uh, thank uh, the Mayor Arcelius for allowing us to do that uh, in the Santa Rosa. The Rosa Community Hospital with the assistance of the Philippine Co Coconut Authority as well as our uh, Calabarzon uh, DOST office. Now, uh, uh, this is actually what, what uh, was described by our Food and Nutrition Research Institute, which actually implemented the clinical trials. Uh, uh, first, they designed a so-called uh, randomized double-blinded uh, uh, sampling procedure Okay, uh, to select the uh, the uh, the uh, participant volunteers in the trials. Uh, the other one is, uh, of course, uh, they uh, decided that they will uh, uh, introduce the VCO uh, through the meals, the three meals that they will give to its uh, patient. You know, and uh, this was carefully uh, formulated uh, to meet all the requirements for uh, energy, for uh, protein, for uh, uh, carbohydrates, etc. And uh, uh, so this was done uh, when uh, the volunteers came. The, first of all, there was uh, an inclusion inclusion criteria. Okay, so uh, only those who are 20 years and above will be uh, uh, included. 
okay? Uh, those uh, who have been admitted in the uh, community hospital uh, not later than uh, than uh, three days, okay, from, from the start of the uh, uh, trial, and uh, those who have uh, no so-called uh, uh, comorbidities, you know, and mm. then uh, the exclusion uh, criteria will where where uh, uh, number one, yung mga meron ng uh, heart ailments, you know, yung mga on the other hand, yung mga gamot sa for heart ailments, yung mga mataas ang cholesterol o yung may mga uh, problema sa kanilang uh, uh, liver enzymes, you know. So uh, of course, hindi pwede yung pregnant women at uh, okay. Uh, Oo. At saka yung walang symptoms, hindi kasali. So this was uh, carried out for uh, each uh, participant for 28 days. The uh, the control group was the one uh, who randomly got into the, the non-VCO group. Sila yung ha- walang halong VCO yung pagkain nila. Okay. And the, the VCO group, sila yung hahaluan sa three meals a day. So uh, they had to complete 28 days of uh, taking that uh, three meals, you know, even if they have already gone home. So uh, we did that, uh, and uh, uh, the uh, find well, there were also tests. Every day they were observed for their symptoms, okay. And uh, uh, on day one, day 14, and day 28, uh, their uh, uh, so-called uh, creative protein uh, level was measured, the CRP level, uh, because there is a certain uh, maximum level. Uh, that would indicate okay. na walang infection. So, uh, pagka sila ay uh, nag-level off na dun sa, sa maximum level or below, that means wala na silang infection. No? And uh, kung above, ay meron pa. So, ang uh, naging uh, resulta uh, dun sa uh, tinatawag na VCO group, uh, uh, yung 18th, uh, the average on the 18th day, wala na silang symptoms at saka mm-hmm. wala na silang uh, uh, infection as indicated by their uh, CRP uh, level. You know? And however, okay. for the control group, uh, on the 23rd day pa, ay meron pa rin uh, uh, ilan na uh, mat- mat- mataas pa rin or above the uh, maximum pa yung kanilang uh, CRP uh, level. Okay? Uh, right. So ang parang uh, ang naging uh, uh, comparison was the 18 days for the uh, uh, VCO group and 23 days for the non-VCO uh, group. Uh, so, yeah. yan ang, uh, ano, so, walang, walang, na, nakawala ng symptoms, ano, at saka pangalawa, uh, walang nag-deteriorate into uh, moderate or severe uh, cases. So, yun ang finding. That's, Kaya that's really... ang uh, conclusion ng FNRI, nakabuti ang VCO. Mm-mm, that's very good uh, to hear, sir. So I, I know that this is used only supposedly as a supplement, but unfortunately, Secretary, wala na po tayong uh, oras on that. Uh, but we'd like to thank you, uh, the Secretary Fortunato de la Peña, for joining us here on The Source. Thank you so much, sir. I'm Pinky. Thank you very much. Salamat and thank you for joining us here on The Source. I'm Pinky Webb. You're watching CNN Philippines.